to a girl on I'm a math expert and today we're going to go over how to find the percentile on a bell curve. So a bell curve is just another name, excuse me, for a normal distribution which I'm drawing for you right here. And you get that name because it has a bell-like shape, as you can see. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you're finding a percentile, the definition for that is the value on this graph for which every other value below it falls within a certain percentage. Like let me give you an example. So say you're in the 40th percentile when it comes to taking a test. That means everyone who did less than you, who got a smaller or lower score than you, that percentage of people is 40%. That's what a percentile is. We're solving for this test score where 40% of the people did worse than you. So you're in the 40th percentile. So a good way to think about that is probability that x, some value in this case test score, is less than a is equal to a probability that's given. So like in this case we were talking about 40%. 40th percentile, 40% of the people did worse than you. Now to solve for this value what you're going to want to do is take this P and look in something called a Z table. Now a Z table is just a series of values for the standard normal distribution or the Z distribution. And this is very well known. Most statistic books will have the list of this. And we find that P value in that table and find the closest Z value that will match that and you record that. And the second thing we're going to do is take the standard normal distribution and turn it into whichever distribution we have. Because we can write x equals mu plus sigma times z. So this will convert because you might not be working with the standard normal distribution. You might be working with a dis different distribution or a different bell curve. So we take this standard for which we know the values and we convert it in this step with this equation. Where mu is the mean, sigma is the standard of deviation, and z is that standard normal value that we looked up in this step. And that's how you find the percentile on a bell curve. My name is Subo Gerwal and thank you for taking an interest in math.